Hi guys, this is Super 3 and today we can I was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. Listen, honey. I need you to take me there. Can you do that? Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, this is Super Booth 3, and we're continuing our playthrough. No, I don't believe it. There's no way she's... Uh, our playthrough of Resident Evil Revelations 2. This is Episode 2, Chapter 2. Uh, we just started playing with Barry again. I don't think we can backtrack here. Although, we apparently can. Um... I can't imagine there's any point in actually coming back to this room. It doesn't look like it. Oh, I guess you could use the mod table if you wanted to. Anyway, let's just get back down to business. With it being daytime, things seem a lot less scary and I'm much more willing to run around now. The game does get pretty tense, I think. Generally, the whole time, as we're kind of wandering oh, around. Would drive you crazy? No, Moira was nice. <laughs> she does have a good heart. I bet she saw a little of Polly in you. That's her sister. Where'd you get that bracelet? I don't know. A woman used it to talk to us. I think. I'm not really sure anymore. A woman? The Overseer? I read the debrief about her little experiment. I just realized I've got a hoodie on now. I wonder where that came from. We must have spent the night in that room. Uh. Which now seems kind of odd. Now I think about it. Something on the shelf. Hmm, okay. What is this post that we see everywhere? I can't read the language or even attempt to. I'm not sure if it's meant to be in Russian because uh, some of the other documents are meant to have been in Russian. Barry, look! This must be Thompson. Yeah, his hand's miss missing. Moira commented they chopped off his hand. Edward Thompson. He was with TerraSave. <sighs> Damn it, this is why I told her not to get involved. Uh, I'm not sure if Jill and Chris used to be part of Terra Save. There's some over there. Find some cover. I'll pick them off before they spot us.
Okay, sorry. So yeah, I think Chris and Jill might have been with Terrace before they made the BSAA. Is that the impression I get? Because they were both going to the boat in the first game. And there's that cool guy whose name I've forgotten, the big guy. To be honest, the plot really does not matter in these games. You're probably better off ignoring it for the most part. Because <laughs> somehow everything's always connected to the Umbrella Corporation or Tricell now. I'm probably going to find out that Tricell is again the Umbrella Co Corporation anyway. Uh. And Google is owned by an umbrella co corporation. Just think about that for a second. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. <laughs> I don't waste my time talking such nonsense. But I didn't ever think any company, in any sense of the word, would, would refer to themselves as an umbrella corporation. Uh, given what happens in... Uh, Resident Evil. <laughs> wow, these guys are fast. I wouldn't have realised he'd have got that far around the building by now. Luckily they explode though, because this one would have noticed the other dead body otherwise. Uh, by explode I mean like disintegrate. Like that. But yeah, otherwise he totally would have seen the other guy's body. I think graphically the Resident Evil series puts a lot of games to shame. Uh, this looks breakable, this one. This place is crawling with them. Be careful. Okay, little girl, I'm not going to go there then. Let's check out this fence first. It's going to be locked, though, I'm sure. I need a key. Damn it. Oh, there's a chest that we should go inside of it. There we go. Let's not anger these guys too much. That seems like a bad idea.
I'm gonna get behind this guy, I'm gonna hide in the village. And if this game isn't stupid, that should count as hiding. characters just considered invisible while we're doing stuff which is good because it hadn't been a pain in the arse if I got spotted from him being crap I think I've got the awareness range upgrade, which seems really worthwhile. This guy just seems to be waiting with his back turned to us. At least I hope this is his back, I can barely tell sometimes. Looks like a medal right there. Really, bro, you're such a big guy. You sure you can't reach that? Where am I supposed to go there? Oh, here's a cage. Okay, so we're going to use this cage to get us enough height to get on the top because this girl's more useful than Moira as we remember I actually pretty much all round Ooh, sniper rifle, sweet. That should get us through. Yeah, I question how useful that's going to be, but we'll see. Hopefully, it is. That took me an insanely long time to open, so I just kind of cut that out. We need a map. Now let's just run over to that back gate area. We should be good to go. I definitely would recommend you always... Um, using stealth to kill these guys you can't Is that where you met Moira over there? Yeah, here is the big tower. Uh where you can't work out uh sorry where the where you need to damage to kill them those big guys are really annoying like that. Oh, whoops, I missed the crate last time. That sucks. Monster! What? Where? Barry, there's something over there.
What's she talking about? See any monsters? Although we know that she can sense things that the others can't see, so that is always a cause for concern. as well because it's just taking way too long for me to find. Uh, sorry, by cutting out I mean the lock picking itself. Let's just fix up these items. I think there's going to be something really bad here. <sighs> My vision's getting cut. Barry! There's something right there. I don't know what you're seeing, but point me at it. Invisible monsters. Oh, that's going to be fun. The monster isn't coming. I guess at least. Well, actually, I don't know what I'm going to say about at least, but. Well, I guess, yeah, at least we can um, tell when they're around because of the whole weird vision thing. That's quite a nice touch. I can't remember where there was small hand cabinets. Uh-oh. This is where the helicopter was, let's see if we can even go up here. No, we can't. I remember there was actually a thing behind the bar. If 
memory serves, uh, which you could use a small hand on. Here it is. There I opened another one. Ooh! That's like a really good customization kit. Let's get inside this uh, building. It should be completely wrecked. Here it is. Somebody really trashed this place. What the hell happened? Pedro. So yeah, it looks like we've got to go up this way. It's probably the same place and way that Jill and... Not Jill. Claire went. Barry. Might have been here too. I can't see a thing. I'm not sure if everything was going to have cocked off as badly as that in terms of the darkness. Whoa. Comes the rain. Are you going to be warm enough? I'll be all right. So where are your mom and dad? They died in Terra Grigia. You were there when the city went down. I'm sorry. None of this could have been easy. You're a tough girl. Thanks. It's on people like me to protect people like you from bio terrorists. We shouldn't have let you down. So, where'd you go? Terra Safe put me in a home. A facility. I'm sorry, Natalia. I won't ask any more questions. You probably should, to be honest, Barry. 
Don't stop interrogating the child. I find that quite alarming. I'm sure we can't see what was looking at us, which is annoying. We totally should. Little girl, help me. It doesn't look like we can hoist up the little girl anywhere. Although I guess it's probably a good idea because we wouldn't want to throw her over something and not be able to get her back. I actually think here is probably a good place to stop, so we'll see what's on the other side of this building next time. So until then guys, thanks for watching. Bye.